this is Mr. Thompson again. Uh, last video that I made, I showed you how to use Microsoft Equation Editor um, using a mouse and a keyboard. Uh, so just to refresh your memory, what we did, we clicked on Insert, we clicked on Equation, and we typed an equation in here. And using the mouse and the menu system, uh, we entered this equation. So I'm going to show you now how to use keyboard shortcuts instead of the mouse and the menu system, because uh, while the mouse and the menu system is actually quite intuitive and uh, easy to use, it's not very quick. Uh, so if you're going to use Equation Editor a lot, it is well worth your while learning how to use the keyboard shortcuts. So the first keyboard shortcut cut to learn is Alt equals. If I hold down Alt and press equals, that starts Equation Editor. Uh, so much quicker than uh, using the mouse. All right, I need to type F sub G, or F with a little G subscript. So I'm going to type capital F underscore G. Now that's code to Microsoft Equation Editor for F sub G, but it doesn't look like F sub G yet. To convert that code, that keyboard shortcut, into F sub G as we would expect it to look, all I need to do now is type um, spacebar. So you see when I typed spacebar, it converted that code into F sub G. So we'll use the spacebar a lot. Uh, a lot of the time, when, once you've typed in a keyboard code or a keyboard shortcut, if you then press spacebar or equals or plus or minus, there's a few keys that will activate it, but spacebar is a nice safe one. When you press spacebar, it'll convert your code into the actual symbol that you're after. Okay, let's keep going. F sub G equals, okay, I want a capital G. Uh, now, this can be a bit tricky. Um, let me let me just type this intuitively and I'll show you what goes wrong and then I'll show you how to fix it. So if I wanted to type G and then I wanted M1, M2 divided by R squared, okay, let's just go M underscore one, that gives me my, and it now spacebar, that gives me my M sub one. Uh, so you've already learned that. Dot multiplication, M underscore two, okay, so far so good. Now I need to put my fraction sign with R squared underneath it. Okay, so a fraction sign is simply a forward slash like that, uh, just on the keyboard. Now R squared. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, R, and then this caret, this caret here, uh, means to the power of. So R caret 2 means R squared. Now that's a code for R squared. So when I press spacebar, what I expect to see is my R squared gets converted into, or my R caret 2 gets converted into R squared. Now, if I press spacebar again, um, then equation editor will look at my forward slash and convert that into a fraction bar. So let's do that. Spacebar again. There we go. I've created a fraction. But you can see now, here's the problem. Uh, I really wanted to have M1 and M2 on top of the fraction. Uh, but um, equation editor hasn't done that. It hasn't known which parts of the equation I want on top and which parts of the equation I want on the bottom. So uh, it's taken a best guess. Let's go back, there's backspacing, backspacing. Let's go back to here. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I've got my F sub G equals capital G. I'm gonna put a space bar in. This time I'm putting a space bar in because I actually want a space. Um, this is because I don't want my G on top of the fraction. So I'll put a space in there. All right, now I'm gonna open some brackets here. The reason I'm opening my brackets is I want to put m1.m2 in brackets because that's telling Equation Editor that that is what I want to go on top of my fraction bar. So m underscore one base bar m1 dot uh, m underscore two space bar. That's created my m1 m2. Good. Now that I'm going to close my brackets. That the, the, what I've got in my brackets now is everything that's going to appear on the top of the fraction bar. And in fact. Equation Editor later, as you'll see, will actually get rid of those brackets. Those brackets are simply there as a way of me telling Equation Editor to keep M1, M2 together while it gets put on top of a fraction. Okay, so let's go forward slash, that's my fraction bar. R caret 2 means R squared. Space bar once converts the R squared. Space bar again will now create the fraction. Beautiful. So now I've got F sub G equals capital G m1 dot m2 divided by r squared and there is my equation entered purely through keyboard shortcuts i hope that's helpful